Welcome to Omolo Consulting TV. Now, in this episode, we're going to be talking about PAYE, or simply pay as you earn for businesses. Now, a lot of businesses or new businesses that start ask this a lot about you know, what is pay as what is pay as you earn, and when do you exactly do you register pay as you earn, etc., etc. Now, we want to be looking at briefly about what what pay as you earn is. Pay as you earn is simply it's an employee's tax. It's basically the tax required that the tax that is required to be deducted by the employer from from all his employees. Now, it usually goes with the you know UIF or, or simply put unemployment unemployment insurance fund. Now, you know this is usually paid at least after month end within seven days. The employers are required by SARS to deduct the PAYE from each employees uh, and, and, and be paid to SARS at least within seven days. Now, one other thing that you need to, to, to note is that the way PAYE, PAYE, PAYE is calculated, it's, it's usually calculated using the, te, you know, the, 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 the tax rate. So each employer, depending on what tax rate falls under, that will be used. But you can obviously use a, 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 you know, a, a, a pay as you earn, a, a payroll software to be able to calculate that. But still, you know, one can use anything else from a, a spreadsheet if you can be able to, to, to work it around, especially if you have fee, fewer employees. But it should not really be a headache to, to work out the PAYE. It's simply using the tax table, you know, collect, you know, the, the PAYE required from each employees and then simply paid at least within seven days. Now, there's a return that needs to be submitted as well to, to SARS, which is called an EAP, EMP 201. So that is also submitted before the the required amount to be paid to, to, to SARS. One other thing that must also be noted is that every six months or half year end, uh, SARS required that each companies must also submit the EMP 501. That one is basically called uh, the employer's recon reconciliation, half year end reconciliation. So basically, it reconciles everything that has been done within within um, the six months and also within you know the full year. This is also used when an employer has to submit had to, had to, had to prepare the RP5 which each employees will require before they submit their individual you know uh, returns their personal returns